Okay, here's a large uh, Malayan crate, Bungaris candidus. Just found up on the hill there on some uh, on a limestone um, rock face. And I grabbed him by the tail, had him with a real small hook, and he was really wrapped into the uh, underbrush. And then all of a sudden, he got free of the underbrush and was like at my, f not at my finger like he was going to bite, but uh, within a foot of my, my hand, which was not a fun experience. So this one's uh, over a meter. Fully adult and probably female. It's about 11:10 at night. Had rain today. Everything's still a little damp. And yeah, that's where we see them is like coming down among rocks or close to rocks. Oh wow. How do you find that? Oh, what the challenge is. It's not that deep, I guess. It's coming back out. That's pretty funny. There must be something in there. He's kind of wrapped around it. Huh. Yeah, it's like they almost know like where the holes are and stuff. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's crazy. There's no other holes all the way along. And then... All of a sudden he ducks into one. Yeah, he's got a couple of different marks that are not um, full bands. They kind of join, which is strange. There's always little variations. But, uh, is he going in the hole again? I don't think so. No, it's not. Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, as long as my head is gone, <laughs> they yeah, don't really see well. me. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see me now. <laughs> <laughs> if my head and my tail are under here, everything must be under here. <laughs> I see my tail and my head must be under it. <laughs> Unless my eyes are playing tricks with me, this one, uh, the, the bands are actually brown. They look brown to you too, or is it just me? Uh, he, a, a little. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't usually uh, feel okay to touch a crate like this, but since he's hiding so well, I think uh, fairly safe. Well, his head just kind of popped out. Yeah, he's just sat there. Right? Oh, look, oh. maybe he can get in there. That's nuts. Oh, he's coming back out, sort of. <laughs> he's just going to try to wedge himself in there as much as possible. <laughs> look how much he's getting in there. He, he might. No, he's just too big, right? <laughs> How could he do out. that? Yeah. I guess we'll not pull him out if he gets in there. It's kind of funny. There can't be much room in there at all. But he's almost... I'll take a peek. Is the head just sat on top of I don't see a head at all. His head's wedged in there pretty good. <laughs> he's like breathing so heavy like he's stressed out like, oh, I hope I drop those guys. <laughs> I 
Well, that was a good, good find. So uh, we're up yeah. to five now, huh? Yeah. Two Malayan pit vipers, two whip snakes. One of them very large and beautiful. And the Malayan crate for number five. Just before we go home, we're just looking. We we're gonna drop off uh, one of the snakes that we had, and uh, we're very close to that spot. And then, bam! 